if you are a cinematographer, the gimbal is an everyday tool to you. And surely, you already know a lot about a gimbal. But still, you might not get the expected result out of your gimbal every time because there are some basic but easy to forget gimbal tips and tricks that you might not be noticing. And this video is all about those gimbal tips and tricks. So bring on your gimbal and let's get started. Gimbals are a great tool for stabilized shooting. It provides three axis stabilization and the fourth axis is you. So how you move with the gimbal is a crucial matter for capturing crisp looking videos. Professionals who have the expertise of working with gimbals are very much familiar with the gimbal walk. Now you might ask what a gimbal walk is. Yeah, that pretty much looks like a gimbal walk. Now to be exact, you should always let your heel touch the ground very gently and walk forward with a heel to toe movement. Always walk slowly, take small steps while holding a gimbal. You should always wear tennis shoes with thick dampening and curved edges while shooting with a gimbal and not formal shoes with hard heel edges. It is because every step creates a vibration and the thick dampening of the shoe can eliminate that. Now let's see how to walk. And this is how you can get a steady shot every time. One of the most common mistakes while using a gimbal is turning it on without placing the camera. If you ever have done this, you might have noticed that it causes the gimbal to vibrate. Though many believe that it will cause the gimbal to explode, it is a myth. But yes, it will definitely cause harm to your gimbal affecting its longevity. It creates pressure on the motor and controller of the gimbal as there is no camera or weight on the gimbal. When you are holding a gimbal, you are lifting the weight off both the camera and the gimbal. You might find shooting on a gimbal challenging if you are not holding it properly. If you stretch your hands all the way while shooting with a gimbal, you run the risk of tilting the camera forward. Besides, you can't shoot for a long time as you will get exhausted. So you need to keep your hands closer to your body without touching your body so that your elbow becomes the fulcrum point and not your shoulders. You should always take the time to check if the camera on the gimbal is properly balanced before turning on your gimbal. Now if you are thinking about how to spot if your gimbal is balanced, it's pretty easy to detect. Just pan or tilt the camera and observe if the gimbal can hold the camera to that position. If not, then you have to readjust the camera and the gimbal knobs and check again. It's more of a trial and error process, but getting your gimbal properly balanced you can now start shooting. If you have just bought your first gimbal, you might want to practice and shoot everything with your gimbal. And that's not good either for you or for your gimbal. Shooting with a gimbal all the time will restrain you from learning handheld shooting. Besides, there are some situations where you might not be able to shoot with your gimbal. A very tight space, for example, where you stand very close to your subject and use gimbal is not possible. So you have to prepare yourself for handheld shooting in those situations. Apart from that, if you shoot everything with your gimbal, you will run out of battery very soon. Though an extra set of batteries may still save your day. But it is always a good practice to observe the whole environment first and then decide which shoot should be done with your gimbal and which shouldn't. So that was about the tips for camera gimbal. Following those tips will definitely speed up your workflow and also provide you great footage out of your gimbal. So if you knew all those tips already, let us know in the comment section.